It's not until you need a domain name that you understand the scarcity of quality domain names. I am Chris Zyker, and today I'm just going to touch on the global market for domain names. So the first point is this, is that 15 years ago, you did not need to own your domain name online, right? I mean, you think about it, 15, 20 years ago, most businesses, they were brick and mortar. The online component was very, very small. But what you're seeing today is that most of the businesses, they're strictly online. So a great example is go over to Crunchbase and look at the companies that are acquiring funding rounds. Most of them don't even have a brick and mortar presence. I mean, it's completely online. So what that's doing is that's actually driving the demand for quality domains, domain names that make great brands, right? This includes two letters, three letters, one word, two word, but it really comes back to that simplicity of what makes a great brand and they want to own their brand online. So the second component to the market is just the economical, right? So what we're seeing is that investors, they understand domain names more than ever before. They understand now that their investment could be jeopardized if they don't own their branded space online, right? They don't own their domain name online. And so what's happening is that they are willing to spend the money to buy their branded domain name. As part of the investment, as part of the, the funding round, they're willing to, to, they're willing to buy it. And so what that's doing, that component, is actually raising the prices on good quality premium domain names. And the last component is just the is just what's available, right? The technology. You see, most brand, I mean, most domain names, they're not even available for purchase. Most of them are brands already, right? They have trademarks, and to give up that that domain name means that they have to, you know, rebrand and, and give up their brand, right? Give up all the goodwill they already built up, so they're never going to sell that. C- Couple with that, you have the fact that most companies they're just not going to release domain names. So a lot of the domain names in the large Fortune 500 companies. Fortune 100 companies, they have huge portfolios of domain names. But here's the thing, a lot of them will never be for sale, right? So there's a bigger risk for them to let that domain name go and possibly end up with a competitor than there's for them to keep it and pay the $10 real fee, right? They already own the domain. So what that's creating is getting a scarcity, this huge scarcity for domain names. So it's really your classic supply and demand model is driving the prices and the demand for great domain names. One last point here, okay? And this is this. Google and Facebook, they want you to keep on their platforms. So we hear a lot from marketers that, hey, I don't need a domain name. I've got Facebook. I've got Google, right? (laughs) We advertise there. That's where we get our traffic from. But there's a huge risk here. And that is that you're one algorithm away from losing it all. Right? Look at how many major shifts in algorithm they, these companies have made over the years that have changed industries, really, because they're changing the dynamic between getting traffic and the price of that traffic. And even what they will allow on their platforms, right? So an example of this is you know, Facebook, they just changed their algorithm. And what they did is they made it, they made the, the company Facebook pages they limited the reach unless you pay, okay? It's like this pay-for-play model, which, hey, they can do it. It's their platform, right? They're in it to make money like you are and like I am. But the thing is this, is that that's changed the dynamic. So companies that had, you know, massive amounts of traffic coming into their page and they're filtering that through their domain page, well, overnight now they have to pay for that. And so what that's doing is that's, I think it's it's awakening people's realization that, hey, they need to, un- to own their domain name the simplest possible possible way and they need to bring the traffic back and own that traffic and and make their their domain name and their brand the hub for their brand versus these third-party platforms okay i hope you enjoyed these tips today if you want more information you can go on over to chriszyker.com or you can go on over to mediaoptions.com we have lots more videos and we have a blog with you know, pretty extensive articles that go into domain valuations marketing, SEO, everything that you want to know about domain.